Tonight on Moment Z, the topic is strict parents corrupt children. Is it true that children with strict parents often end up being corrupt? Which is healthier for a child, the authoritarian or the liberal parent? Can there be a balance between both styles? Our guests today are Sugar Series actor Olumide Owuru and he is accompanied by his momager Titilope Odubanjo Owuru. We also have Modesi Nuolua Ogundiwi and Fumila Wale. They are about to break it all down. It just comes down to the Nigerian setting, you know, the Nigerian way and just how we do things and you're supposed to just listen to people older than you, no oh, questions no, asked. No question. You know, don't go upstairs. They don't I'm tell you why. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how you're trained. It depends on what you want to do for yourself. If you're too strict with your ward or you're too strict with your children, they don't have a mind of their own. They're easily influenced. I don't think it is wise for parents to be too strict. So you should know when to mold, when to communicate, and when to be their friend. You are welcome to the show for the millennial generation, it's Moment Z. And of course, I'm Lumi. And I'm Lisa Mache. And I'm Amanda. Today, we're discussing strict parents corrupt children. It's a triple attack, guys. We have three guests joining us. Our first guest, he's a media enthusiast and an actor, popularly known for featuring in MTV-based series, Sugar and the Johnsons. Let's welcome Olumide Owuru. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Modest Nola Ogundinwe. She's only 22 years old and she's the winner of the 2016 edition of The Next Movie Star. And our third guest, <laughs> our third guest is Fumi Laoli, who is a 20-year-old first class graduate from the University of Lagos. Hi everyone. She's, a, <laughs> she's an analyst at a consulting firm and hopes to become an investment manager and consultant in the nearest future. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, looking so good. I know. Thank I you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, are we ready for the conversation? Yes. Yes. Well, you are looking like, like you, are, you have plenty of things you want to say to your children. Like, 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 I'm let's ready. Trash this I'm, ready. <laughs> I'm ready. So, do you think strict parents equals corrupt children? I think it's a bit of both. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Um, I think at the end of the day, it depends on the the child, okay. um, you know, even though, you know, to an extent you're a product of your environment, yeah. but I think at the end of the day, it depends on the child and how much of an identity the child has for himself or Yeah, for but what does a child draw said identity? Um, most of the time, it will still depend on the people that they relate with outside okay. the house. Okay. Um, okay. I feel like a lot of the time, um, the child is, becomes whatever he or she will become based on the people that they relate with outside of the home, especially now, okay. um, now that there's social media, and I think word of mouth is at its highest right now. Yeah, yeah um, You know, not necessarily even just peer pressure, but you know, just people just want to fit in, you know, yeah. because now you know you have to be cool. Yes. You, know, you have to be hip. So I think to an extent, it just depends on their <laughs> friends. <laughs> Honestly, um, exposure too has a lot to do with yeah. it. I'm just buttressing this point because it doesn't really matter how you're trained. It really doesn't. I'm a product of street parenting. You might be, you might not be. It depends on what you want to do for yourself, mm. how you want to grow up. And most of the time, the parents actually have foresight to know or understand the kind of child they are raising. If the child decides that, if you like, beat me, correct me, uh, nothing. I'm gangster. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Sure. So it's just exposure. And I read in an article that class actually, um, actually has a lot to do with how a child is raised. A class? Yes, class. So class of the parents or? Class, um, mo like the environment. Okay, well. And the, yes, the environment most likely. Like low, according to what I read, low-income family actually have uninvolved parents. Right. Okay. They are mostly uninvolved. Few, few are involved. Yeah. Strict parents are actually involved parents. Yeah. Yeah, Too involved true. if you want to talk about <laughs> yeah. it. But low income parents, they are the ones that actually don't have time. And then middle income family have time. 
they plan your assignment, you see your teacher, okay, I get your point the whole now. thing. Mm -hmm. When you say strict parents, it doesn't actually necessarily mean flogging the child. To you, you might think your mom knowing too much of your business. That's how being strict to you. There's nothing mm. you can do, but that, that's one. Yeah. That's them having your time. While the, the people that actually have money, is either they're too involved or permissive. Not too not involved. involved. I understand. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I think parents fail to find that balance between strict parenting and being free with their um, words and their children. Because my mom was strict. She would tell me, okay, you have to read for two hours, you have to do this, you have to do that. But my dad was freer. He was like, okay, relax. Um, you could watch TV, you can sleep for a while, you can do this. So he was, it was more of an authoritative parenting. My parents were able to achieve that balance in bringing me up, which was great. So I knew what to do. I knew the right things to do. So I, I had a mind of my own. Yeah. But if you're too strict with your ward or you're too strict with your children, they don't have a mind of their own. They are easily influenced. I found out that there are different types of um, parents. You have the authoritarian, the authoritative, you have the, um, permissive. the permissive, and then you have the ones uninvolved. that neglect, uninvolved. Yeah, the uninvolved ones. And I think the authoritarian ones are the ones we almost experience. But I think a lot of Nigerian families, they are like the authoritative Tating ones people. because the father is strict, the mother mm -hmm. is cool, Chill. or the mother is strict, the father is cool. Nigeria, bringing it to Nigeria, yeah. what actually, what style do you think the parents actually adapt or adopt? Or? I, I think arguably mostly authoritarian. Why? Um, mostly. Yeah, mostly. mostly. Just mostly, just because I think it's, it just comes down to the Nigerian setting and you know the Nigerian way and just how we do things and you're supposed to just listen to people older than you. No um, questions asked. No question. You know, don't go upstairs. They don't I'm tell you why. <laughs> Just don't go. No, because my yeah. father tells me to so. do something and I say, why? And I'm genuine. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah. I'm not trying to be rude. Do but I want to know why. Just like yeah. we're saying about yeah. internalizing responsibility and discipline. Let me know for yeah. myself. But don't say, what are you asking me? You're asking me questions now. You're my mate. You understand? Oh, you know it. You know it all. Exactly. Okay, but the thing is this. When a child is growing up, you actually have to clear his or her doubt one way or the other. See, child, um, children rather, they push you. They want to know what you can do or True. what you can't do. True. So they, they do one thing. If you don't say anything, they, they take want a to step do further. One. Yeah. They take a step further. Until you say something, you can't help it. When a child is growing up, you actually have, you act, you have to have a firm way mm -hmm. of training that child. When the child now gets to a particular age, you now start finding a way to talk to the child and also disciplining the child when necessary. Yeah, yeah the Bible said the foolishness is in the heart of a child. True. Yeah, but, of correction. Yeah, but Do you have, you have a lot of me. younger ones yeah. and have you taught? <laughs> I know, it's like, I, 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 I teach, teach them. them. Yeah. You're yeah. strict. Brother. No, the thing is... You sound very strict, so I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Like, you cannot... Okay, for example, I was reading something. Is the Western world, that's how they are. They grow up to question. They grow up to be their person. Their lifestyle is their lifestyle. This is Africa. We have our culture. Now, we are trying to copy them. The parents, their job is to find a balance. Because it's not something we do. It's something we see them doing, and it's something we too want to do because, ah, she did it now. Let me do my own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not how we roll. That's how they roll. So when a mother or a father, when they are trying to discipline, it's not because they don't love the child. That's, but that's, that's another issue. They don't know, some, some of them don't know. They don't know the balance. They don't yeah. know when to stop. Yes. They don't, they don't yes. know yes. what age. When my mom stopped beating when I was 12 or so, mm. she stopped around that age and then she's, before 12, <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. she would chase us around the house. Lucky. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> lucky. Like lucky, like lucky you. She knows how to communicate. I think that's the major problem. Communication, communication. problems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thank you, Fumi, for coming. It has been a pleasure having you. We'll be joined on the show by an older guest who is the mom of one of us here. I will let you guess who. See you shortly, guys. <laughs> I don't think it is wise for parents to be too strict. So you should know when to mold when to communicate, I want to be their friend. We 
are back to Moment Z. I mean, it is the show for the millennial generation. And we're talking about strict parent corrupt children. And we have a new guest, an older guest, somebody's mommy, <laughs> Olumide's mommy. <laughs> Welcome, Mrs. Oru. Thank you Thank so much. You. For Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. For I love you're your so hair. Funky. I know. I know. Oh, I'm trying to be like you. You're trying to be like you. Be like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fit in. Oh, wow. Okay. You look amazing. Thank you. Amazing. So, Thank mommy, you. if I have to ask, like, why are parents so strict? I mean, so many times I wanted to run away from my house. My sister, because you I felt like <laughs> you were like, Am I even this woman's child? Yeah. And I think they got it wrong. And do you know the funniest thing? I felt like I was the experiment for my younger brother. I get that. Do you that. understand? Because it was like they were trying to learn from me and then so that they wouldn't make mistakes with the other ones. So is, is it trial and error for parents when they're being too strict? Oh, let's see if it works. Let's see if it doesn't work. I don't think so. And I don't think we are strict. Mm. Okay. We're just overloving you oh, guys. Shit. With the pen. No, no. And with the belt. <laughs> you, you, you know when you overdo something, mm. you not think it is bad. It is too much love. What if we don't want Reggie. to be overloved? <laughs> <laughs> we are not strict. But it's just that there, there's a point in a child's life that um, is the molding stage, really. You can't say because you don't want to be strict and they just leave your child to do whatever he or she wants. Mm. So there's a particular stage where you have to be strict. All of us are strict. All of us have to be strict. Don't know but whether you're rich or poor, everybody is strict at the beginning. It's when you're not growing up, you not tend to, you know, cool down a little bit. But you know some children, they need that strictness. All their lives. You, you <laughs> need it. Because some, I've, I've seen children that actually turn out right with a strict mother, a strict father, that I'm even envious of that. I said, wow. I should have beat my son more. <laughs> yes, no. no. Thankfully, of she I did not get that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, 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 shout, I shout more. You I, shout? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a shouting mom. So when you say you're like strict parent? shouting? Yes. She's a perfectionist. Okay. No, I, 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 am, I am strict, but I am nicely strict. Yeah, yeah, she's like, she's like, put, put like the that. cup here, and you drop the cup, but and she's like, oh, no, not there, you, you have to move it, it's too close to the edge, you want to break my oh cup. God. I'm just trying to oh tell God. you, it's in the no, set, no. set, if you break one, you have to buy a new set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to let him know how to be prudent. Yeah. Because if you break something, you should have it in, at the back of your Listen mind, to you mommy. have to replace it. Yes. Lovingly, I tell him all, okay. but he thinks I'm not being lovely enough. <laughs> But at, the, at, at every point in time, I correct. But at the same time, after the correction, I calm down a little bit. Yes. Mm. But you still need to let your child know where he or she is going. There are some children who actually have low self-esteem because of their parents, because they think they're too strict. They, it's affecting them yeah. psychologically. No, that, that is true. That is true because, you know, when you're over strict, you can be strict and be loving. Yeah. You can be strict and be nasty. If you are strict and you are nasty, you just make your children go into a sort a of a shell. A shell. Yeah. When visitors are around, they don't want to be seen. When you're talking, they are so afraid. When, yeah. when you are coming in, as soon as they hear the, the, the gate, the horn of your car by the gate, everybody's yeah. running. Only they did it as well, but he did it in a loving way. So that when you come in, when I tell you, oh, mommy, mommy, see what I've done. Oh. It's only to get ice cream, get something, get a reward. But at least from my strictness, he knew what he was supposed to do. Nothing. But in those cases, when, when you're too strict, they don't come out to tell you what they want to do. They don't come out to say, oh, mommy, I want this. Oh, daddy, I want that. That's because true. they're afraid you're either going to smack them or you're going to shout at them. So at the end of the day, I don't think it is wise for parents to be too strict. Mold them to be you know, in line, like all of them are given to us to mold. Yeah. So you should know when to mold, when to communicate, and when to be their friend. Do you think that being corrupt is as a result of your parents, or it's about you? It's about the child, you as a child. What do you think? It's both ways, though. It could what be you from you as a child. Oh, I think but mostly it's from the parents because they didn't communicate with them. So what? they leave them to do stuff 
on their, on own. their own. Okay. Oh, wow. But as a child too, I have seen children of, sorry to say, um, pastors. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you well, were saying? You I have a friend. Her mom is a pastor. That, yeah. that's, that's why I said, mm, mm, <laughs> because I didn't want they to say anything. They didn't train her. They didn't teach her anything. But she taught herself. Well, how, do you, how do you know they didn't train her? She said that. She told her, like, they, they actually had no time for they her. Time. But then she oh. decided that, okay, this step, type of person I want to be, and this type of person I want them to see when see they're looking house. at me, not because her parents are pastors yeah. or anything, but because that's the kind of person she wants to be. Hmm. It's not all the but time. But for her to say she wants to be a particular kind of person, yes. that means that she's got some, you know, maybe there are some things in her environment that she's exposed to. Yes. You can't I say I so. want to be so, 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 yeah. if you don't have anything to back it up. Yeah. Uh, truthfully, True. yes, I agree. But I'm just, I'm, at the same time, it's just like the case of a broken bottle. When you drop a bottle on the floor and you hold it into halves, one would be sharp equally and the mm -hmm. other might just smash on the floor. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same situation, but different results. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually been a wonderful conversation today. I've had the best yeah. time. I and have. I've learned so much from you. <laughs> Mommy, I'm like so loyal. <laughs> but we have to end the show now. Oh. I thank you so much for coming out. Thank, thank you for thank having you so us. Much. Thank, thank you so much, Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right now, we're wrapping up the show in a nutshell. Mm. So, how was today, guys? So, this drama. I know, right? Like, <laughs> so dramatic. You know? <laughs> today was fun. I think today was so fun. It was educative, too. I love that we had a mom on the show. Yeah. yeah. I love that we got, like, an older perspective. Yeah. 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 In a nutshell, I'll say that I learned that in as much as you want to be free, there has to be a balance. Yeah. And then when Olumide's mom talked about you're being strict and then you're dragging the person back with love, that just really caught my attention yeah. because mm -hmm. it's necessary to discipline. Definitely. It's necessary to understand there are consequences for your actions. Mm -hmm. But it's also necessary to be friends with your kids so that yeah. they can share stuff with you. So as I said, balance. For me, I think um, that as children, in as much as you feel neglected or you feel like, oh no, these parents don't love me, I think we need to have that understanding that in as much as whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing actually is for us, is to make us better. And if you feel like, okay, no, my parents are like being so unreasonably strict, I think you should try to look for another figure, like a mentor, someone that you can actually talk to, that you have your parents and you have another figure. I Educated. can't believe it's time for us to go. Wow. We have to go, guys. I Can hope you had as much fun as we did. And please let us know your comments on the conversation. Are your parents too strict? Are you a parent and are you too strict? Do you think strictness is good? Let us know on our social media platforms. I will see you again next time. Please don't miss the show. We know we do all this for you. I will see you next time, guys. And until then, remember, everyone, everyone deserves, deserves a moment, moment so go, go get, get yours. yours. Furniture for Moments Z is provided by DO2 Design Limited.